good afternoon children and today i am here with the question what is a prosody i have drawn the diagrams of uh, some three dimensional shapes ends of the three dimensional shape uh, are shaded now you tell me which of them are uh, prisms is this is it a prism what about this and see other figures also yes i know you have may have a different opinion uh, the condition is given here ends must be equal i mean identical yes here end is a shaded the shape is a rectangle and other end other end is also rectangle in shape only you cannot see that but that is also rectangle in shape and they are equal in all respects when you consider this end the first condition is satisfied for all the uh, four figures this end and this end also will have the same shape same shape right and that is identical also yes first condition is satisfied here this is uh, this end is triangle in shape other end is also triangle in shape second condition ends must be in uh, parallel planes ends must be i mean end surfaces or end faces must be parallel okay here it is this one will be parallel just like this isn't it parallel second condition is satisfied here what about this we are also satisfied end surfaces or end faces are parallel in this case also this one also uh, ends end faces are parallel third one lateral faces must be parallelogram what about this lateral i mean this uh, this is these are the ends so lateral faces lateral faces okay that must be parallelogram this one is a rectangle you know rectangle is a special case of a parallelogram so here it is okay here what about this this one is a parallelog parallelogram okay uh, this one is a rectangle and uh, here okay the condition is not satisfied this is not a prism this one is not a prism all other this one this and this all are uh, prisms well this is a right prism okay here this uh, base if you call this as the base or the end face at the bottom is uh, uh, just i mean this upper face is just above this uh, uh, bottom face it is not like that that is uh, uh, what is placed isn't it so this has got this is a lateral surface has a uh, parallelogram shape and here this will be rectangle i have got something like that see here this is just this one only this face is a triangle and this is a, a rectangle so this lateral face is rectangle and this one is a triangle okay what it may be uh, when we study about optics in 10th standard when i say prism you don't go for all these things we will limit our discussion with uh, a triangular prism here you can call it uh, this one is a triangular prism okay this one is as i told you uh, rectangular prism if the shape name of the prism is uh, given depending on the shape of that cross section if it is a uh, square we will call it uh, square prism pentagonal uh, pentagonal then we will call it a pentagonal prism like that well here but in physics which we are going to discuss in this chapter when i say prism you will understand uh, a transparent refractive medium bounded by two plane surfaces inclined to each other i said transparent refractive medium this one is a refractive medium transparent refractive medium okay bounded by two plane surfaces i said this is one surface and this is another surface 
this is plane surface not a curved okay and uh, okay so uh, we mean this when i say prism that is a triangular prism okay two refracting surfaces are inclined to each other this one glass lab glass lab is also a prism if you want you can call it a rectangular prism because this uh, uh, what end surfaces end surfaces are a rectangle in shape rectangular prism and uh, this uh, lateral surfaces are a, okay parallelogram in this case uh, uh, rectangle see here this surface this is one refracting surface what i said if light enters here imagine light uh, touches here okay light from here light reaches here entering here what will happen light will then pass through this okay and it comes out of this well you will notice what i am doing entering here and of course it will there will be displacement okay it will bend here light will bend and then it will come out uh, but when you notice that you will understand this emergent ray emergent ray is parallel to incident ray because this refracting surfaces are parallel but that is not in this way emergent ray emergent ray emergent ray will not be parallel to incident ray incident ray is suppose let me say again uh, ray incident here inside that uh, uh, what due to refraction light will bend okay and again when light comes out of the glass again it will bend due to refraction and this emergent ray will not be parallel to incident ray because this refracting surfaces are not parallel they are inclined to each other okay so when i say prism that is a triangular prism we can think about uh, uh, different triangular prisms for example what is the difference between this two let me show this two what is the difference here this is refracting surface and angle you can guess the angle may be that is uh, uh, 60 degree in this case uh, this refracting surface one two and the angle between the refracting surface is uh, 90 degree here it is 90 degree okay 90 this one is 90 degree and this uh, uh, angle between the refracting surface is 60 degree so this angle between the refracting surfaces is called angle of prism what is angle of prism angle between the refracting surfaces the another surface no which i have kept on this uh, book right now light is not passing through that surface isn't it that is called the base base of the prism okay here this is the base of the prism and this edge i told you these are the refracting surfaces this edge what i am talking now this edge this edge is called the refracting edge refracting edge okay we will learn more about that in our next class tomorrow and uh, I just told you this technical term. So when you draw the diagram of a prism, we are not going to draw this three-dimensional diagram. We will not draw like this. We will not draw this three-dimensional where this one is a prism. In fact, we will not draw like this. Instead of that, uh, we will draw one triangle. Okay. Okay, and this is A, B, C. This A, B represent, represents uh, one refracting surface. A, C represents another refracting surface. A, B and A, C are refracting surfaces. And as I told you, B, C is the base. B, C is the uh, base uh, one more important term this angle this angle a this angle is called angle of prism so angle a is angle of prism this much i discussed with the uh, uh, 10 uh, c and d i think uh, in our last class but i did not take it for uh, class 10 a and b so please uh,
read the portion before you come for the uh, class tomorrow. Thank you.